there, TLC Town and Team Burn Blogosphere. I'm thinking I should have did a week in the life of a small business owner. My own. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me for Chief Artisan Thursday. You know, there's a time and a moment that we press pause and look through the Artisan Admin book. So join me on the desk while I flip through the month of October and show you some tips of the event planning trade and also some things on how I design my uh, planner day timer. Now I gotta give you a little warning I actually do use my day timer so with that in mind stay tuned for a lot of helpful hints. Okay thanks for joining me this month for our flip through and we have a lot of information to flow through because I think I was a lot more productive this month. So here, I think I mentioned the notepads, a whole bunch of them that I found, you know, from earlier years. And I'm using them as production notes whenever I have to do a podcast or just like now, I have to do a video blog. It pretty much keeps me on track on the points. I have to mention as well as the social media sites that I have to post to. So let's go forward. So don't worry, this is getting a little bit thick. So after I finish with this blog, I'm going to be taking out some of the uh, sheets and pretty much just moving on to November. So like I said before, these sheets came very much in handy and all I do is attach them with a paper clip at the top. Uh, the boards I mentioned last time, they weren't helpful, but attaching some post-it notes that I had designed many years ago helped a lot with focusing on what I was going to post for the month as well as, you know, a little step-by-step -step of what I needed to get done. So one thing I had to do, some website downloads as far as product, you know, there's going to be some production sheets that I'm going to be introducing into the quick cast so I had to remember to get that stuff done and also some planner inserts that I'm planning to produce for 2016. So just to let you know our move to YouTube was excellent a lot of more people and subscribers have found us and found the information useful you know we're getting a little bit more feedback but we're trying to update our website and we need your feedback in order to know like okay I didn't find this site or you know even though you included the direct access link it still gave me a 404 page so those little notes to tlctown14 at gmail.com lets us know that we need to pay attention to some things that uh, you as a consumer are um, having issues with. We want you to benefit from what we produce. You know, we don't want you left out in the cold wondering, you know, why did we put the site together? <laughs> so getting back to the planner. And also here, you know, some studio services we're going to be updating in-house as well as on-site. And like I mentioned before, we have more blogs and videos coming your way for the Chief Artisan Thursday. So if you like this kind of content, you know, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So that lets me know that, hey, there are people out there paying attention and also they want to see more. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a note, you know, in the comment section and let me know what kind of administrative issues you may be dealing with. We can always figure it out within a community setting. Like I warned you before, like I use my <laughs> planner very much. So, you know, um, a lot of these post-it notes, you know, I love them. They were old post-it notes that I found stacks and stacks of them. So, of course, they're going to be put to use. This is on top of the Project Life card that I had for last month. I went to a job in an internship at my old college at Loyola and boy oh my goodness you'd be surprised how much things change after you graduate so I'll be including a career and service uh, video blog later this year or hopefully by first thing next year so if you have any questions or maybe you want to know about certain industry or business administrative service that I could check into while I'm there so in case you want to um, 
benefit from some of my experience at Loyola as well as maybe you're going back to school and you have some questions on how to pursue your studies or even what you should focus on as far as your trade is concerned. We're always here to help with different facets of our careers and as well as our professional lives. So like I mentioned before, these post-it notes, I had to laminate them and then I stuck them into the planner. Someone asked me before, how did I do that? You know, I just uh, used a laminating pack. A friend of mine had a laminating machine. So she let me go ahead and laminate. And one, two, three, I had a card that should remind me whenever I have to do a Travel Tuesday podcast and also a Chief Artisan Trainers. I just stick it in when I have to at least uh, interview someone or make sure that a blog post is posted. This has been a lifesaver. You know, I found a 100 10 pound grid paper the same kind that the inkwell press planners are made and what I did was I customized a grid pattern and pretty much like when I have a travel Tuesday uh, production worksheet I lay out what I have to do for that uh, presentation so therefore I'm doing the research doing the homework before I have to present and then at the time of production I'm not scrambling for what I need to say or what I need to ask my guests it comes in very handy especially when you know you have to do follow-up then I can go refer to the sheet like where did I get my information who did I use as a tool or a resource you know so I'm gonna keep this definitely for next month chief artisan Thursday you know trainers we have a production uh, instruction production that we do a playlist for in our YouTube channel so be sure to check that out give us comments feedbacks we try to fe uh, feature other people in other trades like we fe feature Jill Mitchell who's in the makeup in production mode she's done a lot of magazine covers we've also done teachers like Shannon Williams um, we've interviewed fashion designers like Shamika Buckner you know so many people that have offered their tips of their trade that we've interviewed for so be sure to tune in to Chief Artisan on Thursdays as we're going to interview more people that we run into and flipping forward okay have you been enjoying our small business owner super Saturday solution season? I've been enjoying doing them, you know, with the new day designer that we have in the community. I've been upgrading and posting, you know, things that have been benefiting from our travels to the Caribbean. So I hope you enjoy them. You know, definitely let us know where you've been traveling as an administrator and as a professional that that environment has affected you and definitely seeing things from a different perspective and that's what I'm all about not only traveling for vacation yes we need rest we need to recuperate but allowing that community and allowing that environment to shift our perspective so I'm looking forward to more out of town trips later this year and also into next year here more of those cards and this is also the card stock here I didn't uh, show you is not as heavy as this one but it's still a cream color you know uh, heavy uh, card stock it may be about like 28 or 32 pounds but it's definitely takes a sharpie and it keeps me focused when I need to do another if it's not travel Tuesday is definitely chief artist in Thursday or SBO Saturday solution and let's say we even have a special guest or a special uh, podcast that I want to post I put it on another sheet and just pop it in here okay another laminating card I definitely use these to reference when I need to email or call some of the guests that formerly have been interviewed on Chief Artisan Thursday. So I'm going to keep those. These postcards, I don't know if I showed them to you in the last post, but this was a picture of another bouquet that we received and I made a postcard out of it. This comes really in handy too when I'm doing mini interviews. And then to follow up, I just use a Studio L2E um, stamp and put in like if I filmed already, did I write a blog, and did I do it should be a photo there it is a follow-up photo is included 
So this comes in handy. Once it's completed, I just get rid of it because they weren't being used anyway. Now this sheet, you know, I thought I was going to start going through each and every section of TLC Town, but I found that I really didn't use them when I tried to space them out. You know, maybe I won't do them all in one time. I'll just do them like week to week. That still didn't work. So next month, I think I'm just going to put them all in one section and as I can address them and update the website based on your feedback then I can you know annotate how and what I did and definitely give you the feedback on what worked and maybe what we need to try different next time okay I think I had a post before in the day designer and where I used the spiral decks these work wonderful so what I thought I would do next was a lot of time event planners have parties or you know special events that sometimes you're called in at the last minute and you may or may not know what to do this sheet provided a great background for like what needs to happen when and I'll include the link below of how the spiral decks work if you've never been exposed to it. And then I jotted down like, okay, if we have a mini production sheet, then the office party would probably start at 6. Dinner would be at 7.30. And then maybe if you have a movie or whatever presentation you do, you start it at 8.45. That way you have an outline of basically how things are going to flow throughout the evening and then you can basically know how to plan everything else I can go into more detail about event planning that's my specialty but if this makes a great um, reference sheet especially I use studio L2E stamps to outline some things and some goals that I wanted to establish during the production party and also what social media channels I needed to have and did I post it you know so then I highlighted the little hearts if I posted on Tuesday you know it didn't go out on Thursday and Saturday it didn't go out but you know you gotta work on those things but this is definitely something I'm going to keep for next year for my event planning um, parties and also some small office staff you know meetings and things like that I want to spice up some invitations let's just post it notes and like I said the sheets see I didn't use them so good thing I can just you know take them out of the binder and then relocate them in another place it doesn't go to waste okay so hopefully I've said a few things that can help you in your planner that's pretty much it for this month I look forward to November and sharing with you a 30-day challenge that I went through and also introduced it into the community. I'm definitely learning lessons on that. But until then, take care and see you soon.